الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد <تصفيق> عدد خلقه ورضاء نفسه وزنة عرش ومداد كلمات سبوح قدوس ربنا ورب الملائكة والروح رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن عدة الشهور إن الله إثنى أشر أشر شهرا في كتاب الله يوم خلق السماوات والأرض منها أربعة هرم ذلك الدين القيم فلا تزلموا فيهن أنفسكم وقاتلوا المشركين كافة كما يقاتلونكم كافة وعلموا أن الله مع المتقين صدق الله العظيم Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran the number of the months in the sight of Allah are 12 months they were inscribed in the book of Allah on the day when he created the heavens and the earth Four of them are sacred. That is the right religion. So do not wrong yourselves in them. And wage all-out war on those who attribute partners to Allah, just as they are waging all-out war on you. And know that Allah is with those who are tro- truly devoted to His service. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions this ayah in Surah Tawbah, verse number 36. And now we need to understand that we have entered into the month of Rajab. We have entered into the month of Rajab, the sixth month of the calendar, of the Islamic calendar. And it is a month of great significance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran that in the sight of Allah there are 12 months. <coughs> of which, out of all the 12, four are extremely special. Which ones are those? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said that the four sacred months are Rajab, <coughs> Dhul Qaida, Dhul Hijjah, Muharram. These are the four sacred months. These are the months that are sacred in the sight of Allah. Rajab stands on its own. And then there is Sha'aban, Ramadan, and Shawwal. Then there is a gap, again of three months. And then Dhul Qaeda, special month. Dhul Hijjah, special month. Muharram, special month. Three in sequence. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to focus to get our act together within this month. It is a very special month. Inshallah, today what I want to do is I'm, I'm going to be reading from this book called uh, The Sufficient Provision for Seekers of the Path of the Truth, Gunyat Talib, written by Sheikh Abdul Qadir Al-Jilani. Rahmatullah alayh. In this book, in this volume, uh, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Al-Jilani, Rahmatullah, outlines the qualities and the merits of every month. And it's beautiful because every person can enter into a month and know what is so special about this month. In this day and age, we know that Christmas is coming on the 25th. We know Easter is coming in and Easter Sunday is so special and this, 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 this. But what about our own months? What are we going to teach our own children? And the stories that you hear through the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ regarding our months is far more magical than anything else that you'll ever have heard from anywhere else. This is the beauty of it. But again, we must invest our time. We must invest our effort. We must invest a little bit of our money into getting the right resources to learn the right things, to fulfill and enrich our deen for ourselves and for our families. The reason why our people are walking away from our deen is that it's become bland. There is no more special quality being attached and assigned to our deen. And this is why people think, oh, it's just another day, it's just another Thursday, it's just another Friday. No, 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 Monday. No, no, no. Every day has special qualities. Every moment has special qualities. The time of tahajjud is so special. 
The time uh, before Maghrib is so special. The time between Asr and Maghrib is so special. The time after Jum'ah is so special. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us so much to benefit ourselves in the time that He has given us, but we take no notice. Afala ta'aqilun. Do you not comprehend? Do you not want to think about it? Do you not want to use your aqal over it? So this is what, inshallah, we want to just go through. Today, inshallah, just what are the merits of Rajab? Just to give you an idea. Just to give you a little idea. Now, the other thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, that it is imperative. This is very important now. In this month, do not wrong yourselves. <coughs> but you're not supposed to wrong yourselves at all. Especially in this month. You know what happens in Ramadan? Every time you, you, you commit a good act, <coughs> you get more reward than you would normally get. 70 times more. Yes? But similarly in Rajab, if you do something good, you're rewarded even more than you would in any other month. And if you were to commit a sin, then you will get even more sin than you would have got at any other time of the year. Allah goes on to say, Wage all out war on those who attribute partners. Qatil al mushrikeen kill those disbelievers. Yeah, mushrikeen, not the disbelievers, but the idol worshippers. And the Sufia, the Awliya, what they have said is that these partners we assign within ourselves. We have made our nafs a lord in itself. We have made our cars, our businesses, our children, other Allahs, other than what we worship. They distract us constantly in our salah. They distract us at every moment in getting close to Allah. <coughs> this is the thing that we need to bring about in our minds. That our Allah is one alone. Hasbi Allah. Hasbi Allah that we know that Allah is sufficient for us. Alayhi tawakkalt. And in Him we put our trust. But we forget that. So what they, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in the time of the Prophet ﷺ, when this verse was uh, revealed, it was to actually go in the battlefield with the swords and to fight with the mushrikeen. But today, in our time, the essence is different. Today, the essence now is to fight against our own nafs. That is causing a barrier between us and Allah. Very important. This is what the distinction is. So, the tongue that is keeping us between getting closer to Allah, the eyes, the ears that are keeping us away from Allah, the hands and the feet that are keeping us away from Allah, filling our bellies and misusing our private parts, keeping us away from Allah. This is where you need to fight. This is the war that you need to put against them. This is where you exert your efforts, you exert your energies, exert your willpower to try and take over lost ground. So this is, these are some of the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about this month. Abu Yazid, Bay Yazid al-Bustami rahmatullah alayhi, a great wali, once said, wrongdoing here in the verse means the renunciation or turning away of obedience to Allah and the perpetration of acts of sinful disobedience against Allah. This is the zulm that Allah is saying. Do not, yeah? Do not do zulm upon yourselves. Is basically that in the act of disobedience, this is what the verse is stating. Don't go against yourselves in such a way that it will displease Allah. Wrongdoing was also what someone else had in mind when he said, it means putting something in a place where it does not belong. If you do something that Allah does not want you to see in, this is zulm. This is you are putting yourself in a, in a bad place. And then the shaykh goes on to describe what the word Rajab means. Why the Ra? Why the Jim? Why the Ba? Okay, and this, again, it's not going to help us because it's not going to make us any more pious if we, at this point, start looking at what the Tarjuma is. But the month of Rajab has got several names, as he mentions. Include, including Rajab Mudar, which is the Rajab, the tribe of Mudar. Because this was in a hadith the Prophet ﷺ mentioned. And it was given this kunya, it was given this title, Rajab, the tribe of Mudar. Then it is also called Mansil, Mansal al Asinna, the removal of arrowheads and spearheads. This was because in the month of Rajab, even the Arabs before Islam used to see this month as an important month. 
And in the month of Rajab, no fighting allowed. No killing allowed. So what did they used to do? They used to take the arrowheads off the arrows. They used to throw it away. Yeah, put their swords into their sheaths, put them away. This is how much reverence they had for this month. Shahrullah al assam the quiet month of Allah. The deaf month of Allah. Why? Because in this month, you never heard the swords clashing with one another. You never heard arguing and fighting between people in this month. Because people gave it ta'zim. People gave it honor in this month. Shahrullah al-Assab, the bountiful month of Allah. In this month, Allah is giving generously. He's giving us so much. But who is there to take? Who is there to take? We're all after our own things. We're all after our money and our desires and our lust. We're just running after them. Allah's mercies are coming down, but no one is collecting them. Everyone else's focus and dedication and direction is somewhere else. So this is something that we've got to bring back upon ourselves. A shahrul mutahir, which is the purifying month. This is the time that we need to start purifying ourselves. A shahrul sabiq, the preeminent month. A shahrul fard, the solitary month. Again, solitary I mentioned because Rajab stands on its own. Then there is Dhul Qaeda, Dhul Hijjah, Muharram that come three in a, in a sequence. The other name that is also given to the month of Rajab is Shahrullah. It is the month of Allah. Such an important month. We'll go back into that, inshallah. This is some of the things, one of the hadith, um, the bountiful month of Allah. And again, I will mention this. I will mention a few points. The hadith runs over many pages. But how does it affect us? I will tell you the benefit and then we'll, we'll have a short uh, discussion on it. Imam Hibatullah ibn al-Mubarak al-Saqati rahmatullah alayhi, according to this report transmitted on good authority, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa once said, the number of the months in the sight of Allah is 12 months. They were already inscribed in the book of Allah on the day when he created the heavens and the earth. Four of them are sacred. Rajab, which is called Shahrullah al-Assam, the death month of Allah. And three other.